All right, all right. 18 March 2022, and Bitcoin is at 40,685. Ethereum 2879. Today, today, today. Let's talk about let's talk about alternative mining options. One I just want to focus on. I just read it. I've never heard of it before, but I just want to go over and see if others out there can add some comment to this. Uh, this is all new to me, and it's uh, token burning. So GMT token is one I just ran across. What is this GMT token issues for Bitcoin mining and is backed by real computing powers? Uh, you must have heard about GMT maybe in 2021. Uh, let's see, it made a quite, a, quite a lot of progress since 2021. Uh, users need not worry about purchasing equipment, configuring, maintaining, and updating the hardware. The GMT token holders, after purchasing their tokens, can start mining Bitcoin in just 24 hours. Okay. So basically, I think you're buying, like you said, you buy the token, and maybe they gestate for a period, and maybe it's like a smart note. I'm just guessing right off the top. Let's go. GMT is a project that through a simple and understandable approach, provides access to Bitcoin mining for participants of different levels of all expertise levels, including beginners and experts alike. I don't think there's any experts in crypto. Whenever I hear anyone say anyone's an expert at anything, I always attribute it to someone who has just read a book a day before I have read the book. If anyone calls themselves an expert, call BS, call, come on, no one is an expert. Um, yeah, I just laugh at that. That's, I hate that term. Benefits of GMT over other mining options. As mentioned above, one comes across various difficulties in crypto mining, such as expensive equipment, electricity consumption, or large investment. Yes, to start mining. Those all are what I have experienced. Lots of money to put into the equipment, power, heat, heat dissipation, blah, blah, blah. Just logistics of getting the thing up and running. GMT understands this and devised a solution for these problems. The rewards for mining, B mining in BTC are accrued daily to users' wallets. GMT provides instant access to Bitcoin mining as it is backed by real computing power. That's the power of Bitcoin, man, the pure computing power. That is why Bitcoin is king. Mining rewards are credited daily to the user's Bitcoin wallet directly from the pool. So is this like a smart mode thing? I'm just wondering right now. One major advantage of GMT is it's smooth KYC, know your customer process. That is what KYC means. Uh, Coinbase is pushing that crap more and more, and I just don't even confirm my crap. I'm, I think I'm done with Coinbase. I bought their stock once and it tanked, and then they're just a pain. I don't get much out of Coinbase. There's so many other op awesome options out there. Yeah, anyway, got on a tangent there. Anyway, the KYC process is easy with GMT. You only have to require your passport, upload a selfie, and fill in general information. Besides, the bridge feature helps the exchange to easily swap tokens between uh, ERC-20 and BEP-20 standards. I don't like those standards because they're expensive. Uh, ERC-20, BEP-20, just moving your, your coins on those networks, the fees are astronomical and uh, you can mine say a hundred of one coin and it's going to cost you at least half in fees just to move that crap around that's the negative on erc 20 tokens man i don't like them so much as some of the exchanges stopped giving free transfers of erc level 20 tokens because of the damn fees they said we just can't give this nice service to people because it's killing us financially uh, it's just not good bitcoin Litecoin, other coins on different networks, it's not that bad. But ERC-20 Ethereum stuff, ugh, yeah, it's a, it's an overhead expensive nightmare. Token burning in GMT. So GMT has different but simple process to token burning. The process is directly related to the purchase of new equipment. The team issues new tokens after the purchase of new mining devices. I guess those are Bitcoin ASICs, A-S-I-C-S devices. A fraction of these tokens, 20 to 90%, oh wow, okay, that's a big range, is burned. Then, among other tokens, the release capacity is distributed. Consequently, the computing power of each token increases, leading to the increased mining rewards. Okie dokie. I think it's like smart nodes, man. Uh, why should you go for GMT? It's got certified by 30K, whatever that is. Receive a legal opinion that is a utility token. The auditing process is a significant process. 
uh, in-depth analysis of the code in the token contract, the goal of the process is defined, and address any possible vulnerabilities. It is the utmost importance that the audit is done by ind independent developers. They actually talked to a company that does that type of stuff. And uh, yeah, I wasn't, it was sort of interesting, but I didn't pursue it because I didn't just want equity. I don't know. Anyway, Certic is a security assessment company specializing in monitoring DeFi projects, blockchain protocols, and smart contracts. Uh, the audit provides security against rare attack vectors and compliance against industry standards. Okay. GMT is also the 30th member of the Bitcoin Mining Council. Dun, dun, dun. All right. It was uh, announced the member uh, in the AIBC uh, summit on this. Ah, this is all boring crap. Let's get to it. I'm tired of reading this stuff. Uh, latest updates in GMT. Recently, GMT has redesigned its website and now supports 12 languages. All right. What about English? The developers team at GMT has also added a fact section and a more convenient way to look at statistics and navigate other features on the website. Good for them. Future plans. It has been rumored that the team is planning to offer miners a new option to place their equipment in GMT data centers. In return, miners will be offered GMT tokens in an amount proportional to the supply capacity. There is no official confirmation by the team, but if the plan is fulfilled, this project will not only ease the process of mining, but will unite miners worldwide and simply give them more options. In the near future, GMT aims to get listed on the leading cryptocurrency stage, Binance, and to acquire 4% of the world's BTC mining in the next two years and 20% long term. If you're looking for a quick start in Bitcoin mining and looking for a highly liquid asset, asset, then you should definitely consider GMT. All right, that's a little ad pushing, I guess, on this site. Uh, let's go to their site. Let's go to Coin Market Cap. Here is GMT token. We need dark mode. Yes, uh, there it is. You can look at the price history. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> wow, is that wait? Is that today? That's one day. I think it's tanked. Wait, what happened here? All right, maybe this isn't the greatest thing. This thing just tanked today. Let's go to, let's go to seven days. What the hell happened? This is um, today. Now I got to find the news. Wow. Okay. Okay. It looks like an obvious scam coin. So this is why we read things, folks. People are making comments. It's a BS. Holy crap! Did it get listed on exchange? The live GMT token price today is 0.2 cents USD. All right, we update our market. That's, where's the news at on this thing? Uh, da, 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 da. All right, come on. Social GMT token, token price estimates. Markets. Why is it of high confidence when the thing just tanked? Hash rate distribution among the countries. GMT token news. Crypto prices fall amid fears of nuclear disaster in Europe. What? <laughs> oh my God. What is all these news? Where's the latest news, folks? All right. How do we find out what happened? Hey, anybody know what's going on with this token? All right. I'm glad I found this. This is why you, this is why you read and bounce around. Like here you have a sales pitch. Alternate to mining, GMT, token, blah, blah, blah. Then you go look at like the staple sites, which have just the metrics on these things. And you say, whoa, wait, what? Today, the day I'm making this this uh, YouTuber video or this video, and I hate to say YouTube, this video because I put it on other platforms that are a little more, a um, little more reasonable uh, sites than uh, YouTube, which is going to go the way of the dodo bird soon. Uh, yeah. So anyway, why did this tank? Let's keep looking. So I see comments March 11th, 13th. All right, this is weird. Let's refresh. Come on, give me some top comments. All right. Apparently, oh, let's see. March 15th. Didn't pump. Rug pull don't. I don't know. I have no idea. There's no news on this. Uh, let's go to news. <laughs> 14 days ago. This is something's weird. When I don't see update news on why something tanked, it makes me nervous. Today, daily review. Uh, ERC 20 to total GMT issuance. One GMT. Daily payout a thousand. It's just it's just like a smart note, guys. Yeah, that's what I'm taking. There's not even much news on it. All right, let's go back to here. Let's go to their website. Here's their token information on burning. You can watch it how it works. It's a precise it, token burning is a special procedure aimed at increasing the security power of the token. 
the team will issue tokens after commissioning new equipment. Some of the new tokens are burned immediately and the release power is distributed among all tokens in circulation. All right. The result of the burning procedure is that the security capacity of each token increases. Stable growth of security capacity reduces dependence on the cryptocurrency exchange rate and compensates for the Bitcoin volatility. After each issue, the team burns 29%. We just read all this crap. Let's see what's going on here. From circulation, it is the destruction of a certain number of tokens in order to reduce their emission. This process is carried out with the functionality of the token smart contract. All burning operations are recorded in the blockchain as a transaction. Developers send tokens they want to get rid of to addresses that no one can access, the so-called meter addresses. The private keys of these addresses are not available to anyone. This means that the tokens are lost forever, destroyed or burned. Oh, well, there you go. You can go watch it yourself. We watched most of it. Yeah. Let's go over here real quick. Just curious. Let's do a GMT token. GMT token. Okay. What do we got? There's the exchanges it's on. Volume. Well, volume went up. Well, why did this charts aren't gelling here? What is happening here? One day. Something tanked. This is one day as of, wow. Went down. Went down. Yeah, I don't know, guys. We're just going through this real time. Is there any news at all on this thing? Markets related news? It's all old. Yep, I don't know, guys. Go check it out. Let me know if you know what is going on with this thing. If you own it, if you if you rep recommend it, uh, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling the love with this right now. Uh, always do your due diligence. This is what I do. I bounce around to multiple sites and just try to get a warm fuzzy of what exactly a new coin is. And again, I always like to stick with the big boy, the Bitcoin, maybe you know Ethereum too. Uh, I don't like going after all these altcoins just from the past, from the 2017 season how everyone said all coins are where it's at and then boom, they all disappear and you're, you're left holding nothing. Uh, I'll always be weary of these altcoins and people pumping them. Uh, just, I don't know. I like the big guy, Bitcoin, the, the computing power is pure. You're buying that software. You're buying the Bitcoin. You're not buying a brand name. You're buying the utility of it, the beauty of the, uh, of just the math, the software. That's what you're buying. Not some stupid altcoin with an actor standing next to it saying bye, 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 and then the thing disappears a month later and you're out. You're out your money. <laughs> yeah. All right. Go forth, guys. Do great things. Let me know if you know anything about this GMT token. Um, yeah, there you go. The site looks all polished. But again, I want stuff, not fluff, right? Stuff, not fluff. Token burned. I mean, again, I don't know. No, not going to do it. I am sticking, folks. I am sticking right here. Come on, big money, big money, big money. This site is slow. Let's wait for it to load together. 15 minutes into a dumb video about GMT, which may not be worth it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm sticking with this guy right here. Bitcoin and Ethereum until it goes to POS. Once this puppy goes to POS, right before I'm going to dump all of it and maybe move it to Bitcoin, you know? Uh, this thing, I think, is going to go go away because, again, miners support Ethereum right now and they keep the buzz going about it. And once that goes away, so goes the uh, support. Yeah. Who's going to buy this thing with these high fees, these ERC token fees, the Ethereum network fees, the GUI fees? 
No, it's just a big turnoff. Uh, I do it because I get paid for mining, right? If we go to our mining dashboard, kablamo, look, I'm getting paid in Ethereum. I have 1.12 right now, a couple hundred bucks. Um, yeah, so what is my daily burn right now? Uh, 41 bucks estimated a day, went down a little bit. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Check it out. Let me know what y'all think. That's where I'm looking right now. Hmm. Yeah, not not a, not not gonna do it. Always good to research, but I'm staying away from it. Like I said, focus on the big boy. Focus on getting interest from it if you want to get um, passive income. Put it on Block Five Voyager, and uh, links below. You can sign up for Voyager. We all win, and then you can get interest on your crypto. Yeah, if you want to go that route, it's it's worth trying. I get maybe 500 bucks a month with my crypto and interest. Interest is that good, folks. It is that good versus having in fiat making nothing. Yeah. All right. Go forth, guys. Right? Do, do, do some mining. Keep making bucks. Keep growing the community. And I'll talk to you all later, man. I'm out. I am out.